key stage three at King Henry, you're going to design a pewter key ring. Once you've designed it in your books, you will then use a program on the laptop called Texol. You can design your key ring on the computer now, and then that will be sent to the laser cutter, which uses a high speed laser to cut your exact design out of MDF. We'll take it out, it will come in two different parts. You've got the middle of the mold and the back of the mold, and you can take them through to the metal workshop ready to cast the pewter. We need to assemble the mold. We've got the back piece, the middle piece, and a thicker piece at the end. This is gonna help um, insulate the heat and keep it all together. You're gonna use a metal vise to hold it in place. We don't want that wobbling about when we're pouring the molten pewter into it. Just hand tight so it's not gonna go anywhere. We'll then use a blowtorch and just a simple saucepan to heat the pewter. Now, pewter melts at a relatively low temperature, about 170 to 200 degrees Celsius, depending on the blends of metal and the alloy. It turns into this nice silvery soup, but it also cools down very quickly, so it's important to work as fast as you can with this. Once it's all molten, we'll put the blowtorch down and we'll pour it gently into the mold, just giving it a quick tap to release any air bubbles to ensure we've got a flat surface at the back and the front. We can then take it out of the vise and leave it somewhere safe for it to cool down so that nobody touches it and no one accidentally gets burnt. We're then going to snap it out of the mold. It doesn't matter if we break it at this point. It's a one-time use mold. And then we're going to clean it up a little bit. We'll start with the hacksaw. We'll cut off the edge and then we'll file it smooth so that we've got no sharp edges because safety is important. This is a center punch. We're going to use a hammer just to bang a little hole in there. And then that allows the pillow drip. Uh, the pillow drill somewhere to sit on top so that it doesn't slip out of the way. We've got our glasses on at this point and then we're going to pull it right down and you're going to see the swarf come off. That's those swiggly bits of metal. We don't want to touch these with our hands as they're quite sharp and nobody wants to get cut during this project. Once it's up, the last thing to do is file that off again and then we can take it through to the other workshop where we're going to work on buffing up the back. This is what gives the metal the really nice shine we're looking for. We're just going to quickly run it under water. This acts like a lubricant between the piece of metal and the sandpaper, or the wet and dry paper, sorry. Keep a paper trail handy just to clean up any excess mess. Moving it in circular motions allows us to start getting that nice shine on the back. Once it's done, we can put it on our key ring and you can make any type of shape or theme that you would like. Enjoy! Shiny.